The idea of sending uh, your teenage girl into space might be quite attractive, either as an amazing opportunity or just to get a break sometimes. But there, it's a real opportunity, and it's coming here. Laura Howison is from the Space School International Study Program, and this is a chance to go to NASA. Hi, Laura. Hi, how are you? Good. You've been. Yeah, so uh, I went uh, with a group of students in December last year. Um, so they basically, we have been working, so I work for Actura, and um, we have been working with the Alliance of Girls Schools uh, for the last three years to help girls go out to NASA and experience the space school program. So it's really exciting to bring it, to be able to bring it to he- uh, you guys here in Hobart. Um, there's two different programs that we, that we run. So there's the junior program, which is for girls in years seven, eight, and nine. And there's a senior program for girls in years 10, 11, and 12. Um, so, yeah, they're really different, uh, two different types of programs. The, the junior program, this is all about uh, getting exposing girls to a broad facet of STEM. So not just the space science. I know if, you, if you're really keen on space, definitely um, come along. But it's, uh, it opens the girls up to medical science, um, biology, um, forensic science, engineering. So really showing them what's available um, in terms of all facets of STEM. I noticed in all your stuff uh, and the stuff here, it was all about STEM. So yes. it's science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Yes. On all of the website, the NASA stuff, it's STEAM. Yes. Yep. So we they put the arts in and Joe was like, oh, why is that stupid stuff that no one yeah. needs in there with important things? Um, and I cried for a little bit in the corner. <laughs> No, we are um, we are definitely moving towards um, STEAM. I probably say STEAM out of habit. Um, this year we, uh, you know, it is all about incorporating arts in it as well. So we're really excited um, this year to be able to bring some um, advisors into our program that are more arts orientated as well. Um, I can't say too much more about it, but um, there is more information on our website. What sort of things do you do? On the program? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, as I mentioned, the two programs are very different. The the senior program, this is all about um, high level project management. So I attended the trip in December, and the, the girls they work on um, a, a big mission to Mars. So basically, they get given six hundred million dollars, and they have to build their own rocket, uh, their own water filtration system, their own heat shield, lander, rover, and they have to work in their teams to successfully complete their mission. And uh, it's all about getting them um, prepared for, you know, uni life, work life, where they Mm. have to work Mm. in teams with other students they might not have met before. Not fainting when you get a $600 million budget being like, yeah, cool. Okay, no problem. Not blowing it all on the rocket. Yeah. Um, And Is that the secret? Don't blow it all on the rocket. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The heat shield. The The heat heat shield is also important. important. Yeah. Um, And what do you, how do you see people change through that time? What do you see the students get out of it? So... First, there's been a lot of really good feedback uh, from the parents and um, teachers and the students that attend the trip. But mm. I think the main thing is is that um, the girls especially, they have the opportunity to collaborate with other like-minded girls who have the same interests as them. And, um, you know, they have the opportunity to um, extend themselves and, and not be afraid to get involved in um, all their sort of activities. And they just grow a lot as individuals. A lot of them um, come out of the program Deciding that they they want to be an aeronautical engineer, or um, you know, having a career path and plan, uh, sorry, a career plan mm. um, ready to go, and having goals set, um, and just being more inspired in general, and being more confident in themselves because it is a big deal to go away for two weeks by yourself, away from your family and your friends. Yeah, well, that far away as well. Now you're in Hobart for the Alliance of Girls Schools, which is independent yes. and private schools. But if you're at a state school, can you also apply? So uh, we do offer the program um, to a number of other schools. It, it, we have uh, representatives in other states. Um, it just depends on the school. So um, if your school is interested in something like this, um, then definitely go onto our website um, and, and contact us through there and we can have a conversation with you on an individual basis about that. So as an individual, you could go, I'm just interested and I'll then have to go back and try and pressure my school to make school contact with school, you? School by school, yes. It's yeah. a school by school basis. Okay. Yeah. So the school has to approve the program and be supportive of it. Yeah. And then we work with the school. And does it cost the school money or do you have to pay it a bit? So um, it's, uh, it's all the parents pay for the trip. Yeah. Um, the school doesn't have to pay anything. They just endorse the program. And okay. then, um, yeah, the parents will pay. Or well, the students can fundraise, whatever. Yeah. And Laura, how, how much? So the, uh, the trip itself, um, the program... 
for the junior is about 5,600 and then the senior is about 6,300, but that doesn't include airfares. So airfares. That's not with airfares. Yeah, airfares are on top of that. Yeah, yeah. okay. So it's pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a fully inclusive program. So everything is included for yeah. that price. And is it hard to get into or is it kind of like a summer camp where provided you can pay, you go? Uh, again, that really depends on the school. So this, we're, we're guided by the school and, um, you know, what their provisions are in terms of students going on trips. Um, from our perspective, we really just want to make this opportunity available to everyone who would like to go. Mm. Um, but again, it's, it's a school by school basis. So they decide um, if they have different rules and regulations on overseas trips. It's 27 past seven. Laura Howison is from the Space School International Study Program, which is an opportunity to go. This is for girls to uh, spend two weeks at NASA going through a whole series of what looked on the video like physical challenges yep. as well as project challenges and yep. team building, getting thrown in pools and building things with your arms out the water and climbing and stuff as well as the science and thinking. So um, pretty huge stuff that you're doing there and such a great opportunity yeah. for people. So how do I apply? So um, if in Hobart, if you're in Hobart at the moment and you attend Farn School or um, St. Michael's Collegiate, Collegiate will be hosting an information night on the 21st of March. Um, so if you're at either one of those schools um, and you haven't already heard me speak, then you can come along um, on the night. Make sure you go to www.actura.com.au slash A-G-S-A to RSVP. Um, if you are interested just in general about this space program for your child and you think it might be something that you're interested in, then please go to our website, which is www.actura.com.au. There's a whole lot more information on there and our representatives' um, contact details will be on there too. Great to talk to you this morning. Great. Thanks so much for having me. 28 past seven on ABC Radio Hobart.